When winning is the only option, the sharpest bettors in the world call me. Not because of what I know, but who I know. And the results, well, they speak for themselves. But talk is cheap. So let me show you. The Syndicate Insider Show starts now. It is 7.15 Eastern Standard Time. We're listening to Calvin Harris's new jam called My Way. You are the one thing in your way. All day long, all week long, we have been dealing with insanity. And we were listening to the lyrics. If you open up a schedule in Las Vegas, it is Saturday, September 24th, 2016. It says on the bottom. Stop guessing, start winning. Stop guessing, start winning. Call 1-800-880-7507. The beard may be shorter, but the bottom line is you can't have it your way. You gotta have it my way. Because my way is the right way. I was just telling a client on the phone, you don't have to like me. You have to listen to me. I know more than you know. You are off work on Saturday. You are off work on Sunday. You work for the man nine to five and do the grind. I do not. I have never. You cannot smoke a cigar in your office because you don't own the office. Listen to Calvin. You are the one thing in your way. You are the reason you lose. You are the reason why you pay the man or leave the money at the casino each and every week. Because you want to bet a game as opposed to bet a number. You want to be in love with a team as opposed to be in love with making money. You want to worry about the fact that you don't like Mexican Primera Uno football. You don't like NHL that's going to start October 12th. You don't like NBA that's going to start October 25th. You don't like NCAA basketball that's going to start on November 11th. You don't even like college football unless it's top 25 and you want to sweat Alabama. I think what was the final? 48 nothing. Right. And you want to chase that, like I said on Snapchat, and lay 10 as they don't score at the end of the game, and you lose. And all the Sharks took the other side plus the 10 in the second half. Because you want it your way instead of the wise guy way. You want to read stats. You want to read trends. You want to read schedules. You want to go into sports betting forums. You want what you can't have, which is a crystal ball sitting on your desk. It doesn't exist. We get the same clients, the same names, from the same phone numbers, calling us every single year, the same time, the same month, saying I'm ready to listen and learn and do it all over again. And they call us in the morning and they go, what do you got? What do you mean, what do you got? <laughs> I'm here, I'm trading, the screens are popping, the lines are moving. No, what they want is they want to log in to a website and they want to get their selections nice and easy and then they want to check phones on their scores on their phone all day like madmen and they want to live and die each individual selection as if it made a difference to their bottom losing lines as if winning one selection is going to make them money anyway when you win a selection my friends 
do you really win? Everyone claims they're an insider. I was watching a video on scores and odds today. The football insiders. Good guys. No. I've been in this business longer than everybody, including them. Ain't nobody been in this business longer than the guy you're looking at. Nobody. Nobody ever has been in this business longer than the bald-headed, bearded guy you're looking at in this business. And you can bank on that. Insiders. Breaking down games, analyzing games, and I love it. I love watching sports entertainment. And my son likes watching WWF wrestling. Stats, trends, analysis. If it was that easy, I would not be in my office at 7 p.m. on Eastern Standard Time working to win for myself and my esteemed clientele. But yet, tell me about some of the calls you take. Why do we do these videos? We do these videos to educate you. You have clients that after we, and we're not even going to talk about selections. One of the things I'm going to do on these videos is to try to make a client understand or a potential client understand who watches these videos the difference between a syndicate provider and a handicapper. I hold no ill will to someone that sells their opinion that still sells packaged to statistical analysis to someone that's working all day and can't do the research themselves. It has its place. And I don't tell anybody how to run their business. But don't waste your time telling me how to run mine. Don't call here and tell me that you bet a nickel or a dime a game on your bullshit credit and you're upset because you paid a handicapping service $25 for a pick and bet five dimes on it and lost. You deserve to lose. The lack of empathy that I will show you will be so great that you will be astounded and hang up the phone with your jaw wide open. So to give me, since you talk to these clients on a daily basis. Well, we'll, uh, we'll call you Mr. C. He expects that every game comes from the same place. He expects that when he plays a game big, and he thinks it's the pick of the day or the pick of the month. That doesn't exist. We have syndicates that are putting in the games on the correct line. The line moved by five to six points, but to him it doesn't matter because he bet 50 other games on his own anyway and blew himself out. So all I could say to that is I'm never going to give anybody the game and tell them this is the only game and this is all we're doing today. The guy calls me whether it's 20 minutes before game time or it's three days before game time, we're betting a number, not a team. We're not giving you names of teams. It's we not will what we play do both sides of the same game. Now, if somebody's listening to this video and they splice this video, both sides of the same game, yes. Right, how could you do that? Key number. <laughs> if I can grab two and a half at the Sahara, on the corner of Sahara at the SLS, and then I can go up the street to one of the MGM resorts, and I can grab three and a half, I'm gonna grab both sides. Because if that game could land on three, and my sources and my analysis and my work and my people say that game can land on three, on the Giants game, I'm gonna do it. You are in love with the Giants, or you are in love with the Saints, I am in love with the number. You were the one that calls here and says, I cannot believe that game pushed. How did they make that line so close? Really? Really? You never heard of math and a calculator? This is the stuff that astounds me. This is the stuff that is just amazing. And I just don't understand how people, I'm watching this hockey game. And literally while I'm watching this hockey game, Russia, Canada, Russia, Canada. They made Russia plus 350. Play one day free, DraftKings. You want to play fantasy? Go play fantasy. Have at it. That's not my game. 
You want to root for your favorite team? You want to root for your favorite player? You want to root for Fine, do that. This is big boy stuff. This is not get rich quick with your little parlay or your $20 team nonsense. This is not, I'm looking to hit a five team parlay and I can't believe that I had a seven teamer and I hit the first six, but I'm too, too stupid and greedy to hedge. So instead what I did is I blew myself up and blew the money. Is your betting a business or is your betting a losing hobby? Do you go to scoresandodds.com? Because you just want to see which way the lines move and not understand why the lines move? Knowing that the line move, we're going to the provider of this publication and seeing this lovely individual's face on the bottom of the page. Knowing why the line moved is what matters. Watching the line move doesn't give you any value if you just chase the line move regardless. As one of the cohorts we deal with said, gorilla betting, mm -hmm. monkey betting, brainless betting. I love the game at one and a half, and you still love the same side at two and a half, and you even love it at three and a half, and you love it at four and a half, then you deserve to lose. Because you don't love a number, you love a team. I should buy you a set of pom-poms and a dress, and you can go chill. <laughs> There's a bar up the street here in Baltimore. Every Saturday, it turns red from Ohio State alumni. I say it all the time. In Baltimore, you have more Ohio State alumni here than you have University of Maryland alumni, for whatever reason. Obviously, tomorrow, people would chase the Ravens. Jacksonville just got blown out. Don't tell that to anybody in Baltimore. <laughs> it's the nature of the beast in the state that you live in is where you're going to have the fans that are going to play with their heart, not their head. But it is week three, right? Right. And this is when some of you will maybe get it and maybe understand the true players that do this for a living. And I'm not talking about me being a player. The people that are quiet, the Some people information to the general public, the people that would never waste their time doing what we do for a living. Now, we get the dumb, 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 dumb calls. John, if you're so good, why don't you just play the games on your own? <laughs> why, why, why are you on the phone? Who said I'm on the phone? I haven't made a cold call in 20 years. Guys, if you watch me on Snapchat, you understand what happens if you cold call the wrong person. I shut somebody down this week. I shut them down hard. I think their phone number is still smoking and I still get the, the busy signal when you call. Don't call me, you call me, I'll burn you up. Here's the bottom line. We are information providers. Our job is to provide the information to you if you want it. We do these videos in mass to try to enlighten you, to take you to a sensibility that's not comfortable. Because it's not comfortable to be told what you don't want to hear. You want to hear a story of golden riches with ease. This is so easy, I got a game that can't lose. I got a game, you want a guy to call you when Cleveland is winning 20 to two, which we had by the way, and tell you, look how easy this is. They're up 20 to two in the first quarter. It's a lock. I had a guy in Houston, Texas. I'm gonna text him when this video is over and tell him to watch this. We'll figure out what minute we are so he can go right to it. Very successful guy. He owns his own business, very large business, huge manufacturing company, whole multi-million dollar business. He sends me a text on, on a third, uh, Friday morning. And he says, the text reads, you like anything tonight? I got smoked last night. Now remember I said he's in Houston. It's not rocket science, he got smoked last night. Patriots. Right. Blew out the Texans. Well, why did he get smoked? Because it's a, it's, it's a no-brainer. He played Houston. Why? He's a homer, right? It's, it's like, okay. So this guy who's intelligent, makes millions of dollars in his own business, acts like a four-year-old when it comes to gambling. 
I'm just going to wear my pom-poms. I'm going to put on my dress. Right? We call it, you know, I should call these betters cross-dressers. You're a man till it comes time to call your man. Then you're up, then you're a cheerleader. You need high heels, pom-poms at eight. I'm not going to use any profanity. A dress. You got a lock tonight. I told him the lock that I had, and this guy knows me for 15 years, and he's entitled. He thinks because he knows me, I'm going to just give him something. The lock that I have was the lock that I stick my key in the car or the door in my house or my office. What do you mean do I have a lock tonight? Any game can win. Any game can lose. Anybody that would even tell you they have a lock, you should hang up on. It's 2016. Where is there a lock? If you're up 20 to 2 in the NFL and you can't hold that lead, you and you watch or are aware of games like that, and you think there's a lock, you need to have yourself locked up in a psychiatric ward, in a straitjacket, and never be allowed to make another wager again, or maybe even be amongst us in society. Now I may be, unfortunately blessed with a high IQ, or you all may be unfortunately unblessed with the lowest IQ because you wager with that type of thinking. We got to meet somewhere in the middle. If you want to come in from the outside and come into the inside. But I don't know one thing and I know one thing for sure. Week three, it ain't going to work your way. It's only going to work my way. Because my way is the right way, which is math with an absence of emotion, pure information, and I don't mean inside information, math information. Until October 12th arrives, when you're betting on another money line sport, and we finish up this MLB season and you're betting on a money line, you are playing a number, you are not playing a team. You want to go bet Ariadne late 300 yesterday and have him win 5 nothing? Great. Pick a game straight up in an MLB or an NHL. But again, don't call here looking for the locks. Unless you want bagels and locks Sunday morning. Maybe we'll treat the office to bagels and locks. Otherwise, like I said, when does you guys have enough pain paying your bookmakers over and over again or taking the tickets out of your pocket and, you, and ripping them up and throwing them up in the air as confetti. Please add something in Russian or in English to the audience watching us. By the way, follow us on Snapchat. We've made some changes to the website direct from the Vegas Strip. Lynn, if you're watching this in Las Vegas, I love you, Lynn. You made a statement to him on text. The statement was what? I don't have any self-discipline. I'm sorry, I'm still the same. You've taught me a lot, but I still have my bad habits. I ran out of my bankroll. I ran out of my bankroll. Send me the plays. Send me the plays. I'll, I'll, I'll try, you guys. To, I'll I'll try follow to deposit them. more eventually, but I, I just I couldn't get out of my own way. Okay. This is a guy, and I don't want to go too long, lives in Las Vegas, great guy, a transplant, obviously, because not many people are from there originally. It's a blessing or it's a curse. Too easy, right? if you have no self-discipline, but very high IQ, very intelligent, very successful in every other walk of life. Doesn't play the tables, doesn't play the slots, doesn't try to do anything that's, that is edgeless in the casinos, but cannot not play every goddamn game on the board. When do you have enough pain and stop unloading and emptying your telephone account, whether it's, it's at, at William Hill or whether it's at the M or GC Technologies. I mean, enough already. It's not designed to win. It's not designed for anybody to win except the sharps of the sharps that are purely unemotional and math-based. <clears throat> Our managed guys, they came, look, they came strong with the under in the Alabama game in the second half, 17 and a half. One second before the game ticked. 
tipped, kicked, whatever you want to call it. And there was a, a lot of discussion on taking Kent plus the 10. And we knew Alabama wasn't going to try in the second half. How do you score 41 points Goes at back halftime? To your system that we discussed we talked about it two weeks previous ago. Previous video. 41 points. And you score seven in the second half. Let the viewers know what it was about. The favorite that's playing that the other opponent has a goose egg, chances are that opponent is going to cover in the second half. And it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work. Because if you played Michigan State, you got crushed. Right. But you're winning. You're not going to score. You're not going to win by 82 points. The coach is not going to allow it. He's not going to run up the score in college football. He's going to just pull everybody out because he needs to save his players for next week. He wants to win another national title, guys. There's more at this. It's going to be January 1st before you blink. Bowl season is coming before you blink. They're the politics of the bowl games and the national championship are in play with these big top 25 teams. My phones are literally still ringing at 7.30 Eastern Standard Times. A handicapping service is probably closed at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You want to come in from the outside, you want to come into the inside, watch me online as I trade these games live in real time. First halves, second halves, full games, but it's not to provide you with information and action. If you're looking for that, go elsewhere. And if you certainly undercapitalize and are you only interested in the micro, not the macro, and if you couldn't make it through this entire video, and you, because it wasn't sensational enough for you, it wasn't enticing enough for you, it didn't promise golden riches at the end of the yellow brick road, and I wasn't sitting here and yelling at you and telling you, I am the greatest sports gambler in the world, I don't want you to call, because that means I'm not for you, and you're still stuck in your way, not my way. This is your Saturday Night Report. Good day and good luck.